morning everyone. Five day quarantine yoga today. Today we will do yoga with belt. Yes, we will use a belt in our yoga practice. If you don't have a belt at home, I'm pretty sure everyone has dupatta, yeah, or a scarf, long one, not a short one. It will be useful today for the practice. We will start with conditioning ourselves. Join your feet together. Hands in Namaste in front of your chest. And close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. Relax your shoulders, your elbows. Relax your facial muscles. Bring awareness to every inhale and exhale. You are taking in and out. With every inhalation, become taller, lifting crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slightly draw your stomach in. Try not to arch your lower back much by lifting your lower abdomen up. Prepare yourself for the asana class. Release any tension from your body and your mind. Bring your hands down, open your eyes. Now it's taking everyone. And we will start with warming up. Feet comfortable position, reach into your chest, mindfully with a long inhale, lift your chin all the way up and look up. With exhale, bring your chin again down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Again down. And up. Keep your eyes open. Come back to center. Chin parallel to the floor. Turn your head to the right. Center. To the left. Center. Again right. Center. Moving to the left, center, and keep you all your own, breathing in and breathing out. Come back to center, right ear towards your right shoulder, bring right hand above your ear and extend your left hand to the side. Slowly release and change. Don't press with your hand, your head down. Let it come naturally with every exhalation. Down, don't bring your shoulders up, shoulders moving down. Come back to center, release and gentle circles with your head. Try to keep your eyes open. 
move to other direction. Release. Bring hands above your shoulders and start your shoulder circles. Bring your elbows closer to each other. Do not arch your lower back. Moving backwards. Open your chest more. And release. Bring your right hand up, go into the side bend, hips fixed, don't drop your head, and come back to center, exhale, change. Again, change in the side, go into lateral stretch, come back, and to the other side. Come back one more time to the right and one more time to the left. Come back to center and now feet wider than your hips and gentle twist to side side. Moving your body freely. Moving like a dance. Good. It's a beautiful morning. Even if it's at home, not in the nature. And come back. Hips, circles. Moving your hips. Try and keep your shoulders in one position, just the hips and change the side. Good. And release. Now bring your hands in front, squeeze fist, thumb in and spread your fingers. Again, in and up. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Wrist circles. And out. Good. And elbows. Every joint is not. Good. And out. Hands down, bring your hands up, stretch, and exhale, release. Inhale, up, stretch, exhale, down. Again, up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, and release. Clasp your hands behind and lift. Your shoulders up, chin parallel to the floor, and we will do 10 times down and up without leaning our upper body, without arching our lower back. Continue breathing in, breathing out. Don't move your chin in front, chin parallel to the floor, and release. Join your knees together, feet together, knee joints, yes, knee circles, moving. Your hands are just lying on top of your knees, you are not pressing with all your weight. And change the direction. Very good. And release. Feet hip distance, hands on your hips, come on your toes, and down. Again, up, and down. Up, and down. Up, down. Up, down, feel the skulls. Up, down, up, down, up, and release. 
Bring your right leg up and start your ankle circles. To one direction and changing. And now flex your foot and point. Flex, point. Keep your chest up. Go chin parallel to the floor. Release and change. Right leg, closer left. Moving to one direction. And changing. Now flex your foot and point. Flex, point. Flex, point, and release. Bend your right leg. Hold. Lifting your chest up, chin parallel to the floor. And stay in standing egg palm Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly release and change the leg. Finding your balance. You can always have support of the wall for your balance. Do not lean back. Keep your spine straight. With the crown of the head moving up towards the ceiling. Standing leg is straight. And stomach in. Slowly release your leg down. And we will take a belt now. We will bring much wider than our shoulders. Feet a little wider than our hips. With inhale, we will bring your hands up. Notice your arms will be straight. Yeah? Exhale, bringing down from your back. Inhale, without bending your elbows, again up. And exhale, down. Bring it up. And down. Breathe. Yes, very slowly. Inhale up, keeping your hands straight. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, take one inch closer. Your hands to each other. Yes? And again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep those arms straight. Inhale up. Exhale down. If you see that your arms bend, take your belt a little bit wider. Again. Inhale up. Exhale down. And a little bit closer if you feel that you will not bend your arms. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up, exhale in front, inhale up, exhale bend, one more time up and down, good, it's really good for your shoulders mobility and now you can have, uh, if you have belt, you hold it in two, if you have dupata, because you don't have heavy endings, you can actually hold it whenever you want. Yes, and we will do lateral stretch. You hold your belt or the pata, feet wider than your hips, holding shoulder level. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, without moving your hips, you are going side bend and you just stretch your hands and moving hands away from each other. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Stretch. Inhale, up. Again, exhale. Inhale, up. And exhale. Come back to center. Now, with the same way, without moving your hips, hips fixed. Exhale, you just twist with your upper body. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist. 
Inhale up and exhale. Come back to center, release down. You can do few shoulder circles to release tension. And you will bring belt behind your back for forward bend with Tanasan. You will bring your feet hip distance far away to each other. Inhale, open your chest, looking up. Exhale, you are going full forward bend. You can soften your knees, slightly bend them. Relax your head, relax your neck. And stay in the pose. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling our hamstrings are start working. Our hands going more down towards the floor. Relax your head, relax your neck. Very slowly, come all the way up and bring your hands down. Nice. One more time. Inhale, open and exhale, going for forward bend. And breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So you should always remember, without breathing, it's just an exercise. It's not the yoga. The yoga breath and movement are coming together. Breath is helping us to work on much more deeper levels. And we become more flexible. Our energy rises up. Our metabolism is improving. Inhale very slowly. Come all the way up. Release your hands down. Good. And now bring belt in front. Feet keep distance. Hastasa. Inhale. Bring your hands up. So why are we keeping our legs keep distance? We want to open our lower back more and it's morning, we are a little bit more stiff. That's why this is more comfortable for our body. Exhale, we are coming parallel to the floor, Arthrottanasana. Looking down, our arms in one line, with our ears, back is flat. And inhale, slowly coming up. Exhale, again, moving parallel to the floor, stomach in. And exhale, coming up. Don't arch your back, yeah, we don't want this. We are lifting our lower abdomen up. Exhale, again, coming parallel to the floor. You can always soften your knees to feel more stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings. And inhale, come up. Again, with exhale, come parallel to the floor. Inhale, up. Last one, come parallel to the floor. And inhale, coming up. And bring your head. Bend down, arms down. Few movements with your shoulders. And we will do a couple of Surya Namaskars before we continue to work with our belts. Join your feet together, hands on both sides. Inhale, bring your hands up, gently back and look up. Exhale, forward bend. Right leg moves back, Ashra Sanchanamasana, look up. Hands to the floor, step to downward facing dog, feet hip distance. You can bend one leg at a time, 
Hals down wordt een symbool. Stomak in. Breng je knieën tussen voor. Chin chest down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale. Small cobra. Lift your hand towards the floor. Your heels together. Hands to the floor next to your chest. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. Stomach in. Chin to your chest. Look in front. Step with your right leg in front. Ashwa Sanchalanas. Left knee to the ground. Look up. And step in front for full forward. Inhale, coming all the way up, gentle backward. And release your hands down, still Pratanasana. Again, inhale up. Exhale, bend. Left leg moves back, knee to the floor, look up. Notice front leg, always be mindful about your alignment. Hands to the floor, step to downward facing dog. Stomach in, knees to the floor, chin chest down. And slide forward, Bhujangasan, hands on the floor, stay. And bring your hands next to your chest, tuck your toes, and come back to downward facing dog. Look in front. Left leg comes in front, right into the ground, your hips down, look up. And step in front for a full forward bend. Inhale, coming up, gentle button. And release your hands down, still Pratanasana. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Right leg moves back, Asha Sanchalanasana, look up. Hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Knees to the floor, chin, chest down. Inhale, come to high cobra. Shoulders away from your ears. Back your toes. Downward facing dog. Look in front. Right leg comes in front. Left knee to the ground. Look up. And step to full forward bend. Inhale, coming up. Gentle back bend. And release your hands down. Sit Pratanasana. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Left leg moves back. Don't rush. Hands to the floor. Downward facing dog. Stomach in. Knees to the floor. Chin chest to the floor. Inhale, high cobra. Lift your chest up. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Look in front, left leg comes in front, knee to the ground, look up. And step in front for full forward bend. Inhale, coming up, gentle back bend. And bring your hands down, sit Pratanasana. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Right leg moves back. Look up. Come to downward facing dog. Now inhale, come into plank. Don't drop your hips down. Don't lift it up. One line. Now, Chaturanga Dandasana, on your knees, yes, you can bring your knees down, 
and feet up and go for push-up. Or if you have enough strength in your arms, in your core muscle, exhale, you are coming to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lifting your chest up and tuck your toes, come into downward facing dog. Look in front, right leg in front, knee to the ground, look up, front leg is 90 degrees, and step in front, full forward bend. Inhale, coming all the way up, exhale, hands down, sit Gatanasana. And one more time, inhale, up, exhale, forward. Left leg moves back, knee to the floor, look up. Step to downward facing dog. Come to plank. Again, your choice. On your knees, Chaturanga Dandasan, or going classic. Inhale, lift your chest up. And come to downward facing dog. Left leg comes in front, knee to the ground, look up. Step in front and fold. Inhale all the way up. And bring your hands down, sit Pratanasana. Close your eyes. And focus on your breathing. You can release your hands down. Inhale, deep inhale, and deep exhale through your nose, again, inhale, and exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale. Open your eyes and now we will do warrior one with the belt in our arms. So the belt will be behind, yes? But first let's do warrior one. You will step in front of your yoga mat. With right leg you will move back your foot 45 degrees. Your front leg looking exactly in front and you square your hips. It means you are turning your hips looking exactly in front. Hold belt behind your back. Shoulder distance. Inhale, opening your chest. Yeah, moving the belt away from your hips. Exhale, bending your front leg. 90 degrees and looking slightly up and stay. Every muscle is engaged, your glutes engaged, chest is open and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly straighten your leg, release your hands, back to center, and just turn to the other side. Bring your back foot again, 45 degree. Square your hips, looking in front. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, bend your front leg. And look up. And stay in the pose. Straighten your leg, come back to center, and we will do warrior three. Now, you will have dupatta, scarf, or belt. You will put your foot, right leg, 
foot you will put on belt. You are standing on it. Make sure that your left leg is in front of your belt. Yeah, that your belt is not in front of your leg, opposite. Standing straight. Inhale without bending your arms. You will come exhale parallel to the floor and look down. And you are staying there. Every muscle engaged, standing leg is straight. Inhale slowly, come back and change the leg. So warrior three, every muscle is engaged. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, with awareness, you are coming to warrior three. And stay in the pose. Look down. Inhale, come back, up. And again, we will change. Bring your right foot on top of your belt. Inhale, open your chest. Yes, without arching your back, lifting your lower abdomen up. Arms straight, exhale, coming for warrior three. Look down. Stay, stomach in, and inhale, slowly come back, and change, left leg, good, come to neutral position, inhale, exhale, coming to warrior two. And stay in the pose. Inhale, slowly come back. And release. We will come to warrior three. We will have our belt behind our back. Shoulder distance holding. We will bring our feet wide. Right foot comes out. So our heel of the right leg divided our left foot into the half or heel to heel. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, coming to Trikonasana and moving your hands to your left hand. Don't drop your head. You are in one line. Lift your quadricep muscles. And now, drop one belt down and just stretch out of your chest belt behind your back. And bring your right hand closer to your leg and open your chest a little bit more wide. And stay. Inhale, slowly come back. Change the leg again. Hold belt behind your back shoulder level. Inhale. Exhale. Going to Trikonasana. Look up or in front. Legs are engaged. And now drop one side of the pata or your belt and open your chest. You are stretching the belt. You are stretching your arms out of your chest. And your legs are engaged. Stay. Inhale, slowly coming up. And release. And now we will do Prasarita Padatanasana. Again, with the belt. You will bring your feet wide. Toes looking at each other. You will bring your belt behind. 
in this distance. Yeah, so you are opening your arms to the sides, stretching your chest. Yes, you are moving your arms out of your chest. Exhale, you are coming parallel to the floor. Legs are engaged, stretch your arms out of your chest. With exhale, you will twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Come back to center. Just release your belt on your back. Hands down in one line with your feet. And just go full forward bend. And stay. Keeping your legs straight. Relax your head. Relax your neck. Inhale, lift your chest up and come all the way up and bring your feet together. And I think it will be the last standing pose with the belt, Hasta Padankusthasan. So you can use the belt and as well you can use the wall for your balance. But if you are confident, don't be super confident, overconfident, you will bring your right foot Eggy on top of the belt. Standing straight. With inhale, you will lift your leg up. Grab your belt more in front to keep your arms straight. And bring your other hand to the side or up. And you are staying in the pose. Always you can use the wall, just don't lean towards the wall. Or you can simply keep your hand on your hip. And slowly release and change. Left leg. You are just holding with one hand, lifting your leg up, holding with your other hand on your hip, chin parallel to the floor, pushing your heel in front. Every muscle is engaged. Stomach in, you are not leaning back. And slowly release. Good. And now we will do the same to the side. You are open your foot, right foot to the right. You can have your other hand to the side for balance. Again, you can always use the wall. You will lift your leg up. Hold, straightening your arm. You can bring your hand to the side, up, or on your hip. And stay. Legs are straight. And slowly release. And change. Other side. Always bring your foot out. Lifting your leg. Grabbing your dupata or your belt more. And stay. Don't lean to the side. Breathe it in. And breathe it out. And slowly release. Good. And now we will sit down. For Dandasan. Checking the time. Oops. So, we will sit in the dasa, lifting our buttocks up. You can sit on the pillow. You will bring, uh, hold shoulder level your belt and bring it up. Chin parallel to the floor, toes looking up, stomach in. We are not leaning back. We are lifting all the way up. And stay. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing 
squeezing in and squeezing out. And slowly bring your hands down. Hold belt behind your back and again lift and stay. Chin parallel to the floor, you're not leaning back, not in front, legs are straight. And slowly release down. And expose Janish Shasan. You will bend your right leg, hug your knee, drop your knee to the ground, take a belt. Bring around your foot, our arms again, as you see, straight, toes looking up, inhale, you will lift your chest up, with the crown of your head moving up, your leg is straight, calves and thighs touching the ground, with exhale, moving your elbows to the side, looking at your big toe, going forward bend. Hold belt a little bit closer to your foot. Inhale, again, lift your chest up, keeping your back straight. I will go to the side that you can see. Keeping your back straight. Exhale, elbows to the side, moving your chest towards your foot. Again, bringing your Fingers a little bit closer to your foot. Inhale, lifting your chest up. And exhale, going forward back. And stay in the pose. Breathing in. And breathing out. You can bring your elbows to the ground if you can reach. Inhale, coming up and come all the way up. And we will change other leg bend first. Keep your spine straight and parallel to the floor. You see the sun? Bring your leg down. Belt around your foot. Inhale. So if this leg is coming up, you can always put under your leg block or a pillow mat, yeah? Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, bending your elbows, leaning in front. Moving your hands a little bit more in front on your belt. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, going again down. Again, moving your hands a little bit more in front of the belt. Inhale, lift, keeping your back straight, pressing your knee to the ground, and exhale, going all the way down, and stay. Your legs, your leg is straight. Inhale, slowly coming up, and release, two legs in front or Paschimottanasana. The same concept as in Janna Shikshasana. Inhale, you will lift your chest up. Exhale, moving your elbows to the side, coming a little bit more in front. Walking on your belt a little bit more in front. Again, inhale, lifting, straightening your arms. And exhale, going more deeply into the pose. Moving your hands again more in front. Inhale, lifting your chest up, keeping your legs straight. The most important here are your straight legs. Exhale, moving down. And stay in the pose. Breathing in. And out. Engage your leg muscles, breathing in and breathing out.
Inhale, lift your chest up and down all the way up. Bring your hands behind, four, reverse, stable. Inhale, lift your hips up, look up, stay in the pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Stay, stay, you can do it. Lifting your chest more up. And bring your hips down. Now you will lie down on your back. We will use our belt for Hasta Padan Kushthasan on our back. Lie down first. Bend your legs. And now Bring right leg closer to your chest. Put belt on top and just straighten your leg. Your hands will be behind your head. Yes? So if your dupata is small or your belt is not long enough, hold it closer and just bring your elbows to the back. I want your shoulders to be on the bed and you are not lifting your shoulders off. Yes? So you can keep your leg, left leg bent. As you notice, right leg is straight and heel moving up. It's amazing opening for hamstring. Your lower back on the ground. You can straighten your leg if you feel enough confidence that you have enough flexibility in your hamstrings and in your hips. As you notice, your left leg should be also straight on the floor, activated by toes looking up. And breathe, breathing in. And breathing out. So if your belt is small, you can always make a loop. Put your foot right there. And just bring your hands to the ground. Yeah, this is actually more comfortable. Sliding in the spine perfectly. And stay. Breathe it in and breathe it out. So if your left leg is straight and bent, gently release your right leg and bring loop or belt on your left leg. Extend your arms to the ground. And now if you feel that you are comfortable, stretch your other leg to the floor. And stay. Do not hold your breath. Breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Bend your right leg, release belt, bring your hands in key position, feet together, knees together, lift your hips slightly up, move your hips to the left, release to the ground and drop your knees to the right and look to the left, knee on top of the knee, foot on top of the other knee, or supine twist. And come back, inhale to the center. Again, lift your hips, move them to the right. Drop your knees to the left and look to the right. 
gazing in and gazing out. back to center and lie comfortably for Shavasana. Feet slightly away from each other, hands slightly away from the body, palms looking up. Close your eyes and fully relax your body. Start to scan your body from toes. To the crown of your head for any tension. With every exhalation, release any tension in your muscles, your joints, your ligaments. With every exhale, release any tension from your mind. Let go of all the words. Bring the gratitude into your heart, to your body, that allow you to practice gratitude to your lungs, to your breathing system, so that you, you can breathe. Taking air in and out. With every inhalation, bring into your heart joy and love. Allow your thoughts to come, allow them to go, just let it go. Be mindful of the way you are breathing. Feel with every inhalation as your abdomen slightly rises up. In the exhale, it goes down. Relax your facial muscles, soften the face muscles. As your body relaxes, your body becomes heavier and heavier, sinking into the floor, into your mat. And now bring awareness to your feet, your hands. Start to move your toes, your fingers. Join your feet together, bring your hands above your head. Give a good stretch to your body. Turn to one side and stay there for a little bit. With support of your hands, slowly come to comfortable sitting posture. Keep your spine straight. Join your hands in Namaste in front of your heart. Bring your hands to your forehead. 
reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Thanks to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a beautiful day ahead of you. See you tomorrow on the mat.